Welcome to your 20-minute podcast with David Brower, brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash your 20-minute podcast. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Now, here's your host, David Brower. Thanks, Alan. This is David Brower with your 20-minute podcast. Our special guest today is Elsa Biscoff from Spain, and she is the published author who wrote the book, Death is an Illusion. And it's a book about Martinez. Is that right? Yes, that is absolutely right. And you were inspired to write this book after reading, uh, he's a, he was a Dan- Danish visionary who uh, his work must be the world's best kept secret, you said. So t- tell us a little bit about Martinez, Elsa. Uh, yes, I'll, I'll be happy to. Martinez was a Danish author, and uh, he was born in, um, in, 19, in 1890, and he died when he was 90 in 1981. And what happened to him was that when he was 30, one day he sat down to meditate on the concept of God, and uh, he experienced two very big spiritual revelations, I suppose we could call them, which meant that after these two uh, consecutive uh, <clears throat> meditations, he discovered that his consciousness had expanded, and that so that he had he was no he, he was now able to see beyond the physical world, and he could see the spiritual world that is behind uh, the physical world. And um, it was very, of course, a big surprise to him and he didn't understand what had happened. But he, he now realized that whenever he had a question, the answer to that question just came down, uh, it, it, it entered his mind immediately. And of course, he, he didn't understand it, but he realized that he, after some time, he realized and he asked some people who had read a lot of philosophy and a lot of theosophy that he, he had achieved cosmic consciousness. And that meant that he had the energy of intuition under the control of his will so that whatever he could, he could answer everything. I know it sounds so strange and it really is a very peculiar thing. But he then spent the next 60 years of his life writing down uh, the the things that he could see, and uh, it became and is a complete world picture, comprising both the physical and the spiritual world, and it explains how the universe has been constructed, and uh, why we are here, where are we coming from, and where are we going, how we can create our fate uh, when we become knowledgeable about the law of karma. He explains what happens when we die because we don't die. We are not identical to this physical body. And uh, he explains also a lot of, I mean, sp- the, the basic energies and, and many sort of more technical things about how, how the, the, the laws of life work. So it is an absolute cornucopia of spiritual wisdom. But it's not a quick fix. I mean, I have been studying it uh, for 23 years, and I still I read in it every day. It is my big passion, and it because it is so fantastic. I mean, nothing like it has ever been revealed on the planet. And where did you? How did how did this come to you? Where did you? Where, where did it find you? I suppose is the yeah, question. Yeah, I suppose it's, that's a good question. You know, I am Danish, so I'm I'm able to read Martinez's work in its original language, but. Uh, when I was f- close to 40, my husband and I immigrated to Spain, and uh, I was a searching soul, and I had been a searching soul for the, my whole life, but I didn't like religion. It it really didn't um, do anything for me. So I was an atheist for a lot of for many years, but still, of course, I I had questions that I wanted to know. I wanted to know what what's all this about? What is life about? You bet. And um, and I suppose that I'm a case that of this. They say that when the pupil is ready, the teacher appears, and that certainly happened in my case because one day I opened a box of books, and there was an an introduction to Martinez's world picture, and I knew intuitively as soon as I saw this book, I knew that I had found what I was looking for. Wow! And then and then. 
um, we bought, my husband and I, we bought all the books that um, we could, uh, we had, we could afford really. And um, it took me about a year to, to read the major part of his work. And I was so enthusiastic about it that I thought, whoa, I have to tell somebody about it. And that uh, resulted in my first book called Death is an Illusion, which is a de general introduction to Martinez's uh, world picture or cosmology or spiritual science, if, if you can call it those th three things. Okay. And so when you, you were on this quest to write this book to share his knowledge through your eyes, I would assume. Mm -hmm. um, and that was your first of, what, four books on this? No, I've just finished the seventh. The seventh oh, seventh. Oh, my goodness it. gracious. Yeah. So, wow. I mean, that's, I'm fascinated by that because you, you, I mean, I believe firmly there's no such thing as a coincidence. So, so for you to be able to open up that box of books and go, oh, there's the book. Yeah. How fascinating yeah. was that? It, absolutely. It was absolutely fascinating. Oh, my gosh. And, yeah, and of course, it changed my life. I mean, how could it not change my life? Right. Uh, it changed the way I looked at the world, because after I had studied um, the first part of the Martins material, I could not see the world in any other way than the one that the way he presented it. I could not go back to the old way of looking at anything. Sure, sure. And and um, and it, because Martinez's world picture is deeply optimistic, it's a deeply optimistic world picture, and um, and all the things that we think are very bad, like wars and cr crime and um, terrorism and all those things we are afraid of. Yeah. And they are they are just stages stages on our way to becoming real finished human beings. And we are all on our way. Obviously, we haven't arrived yet. But Martina says that in maybe only 500 years, we will have changed, that a whole new world culture will have arisen on this planet. And it will be a much more loving place because he says that in 500 years, the last war will have been fought. And you know what war does? War creates pacifists. Yes. Because when you have been in a war, and you have suffered horribly in the trenches or on, on the battlefield, and um, you then pass over to the spiritual plane and you are there for some time, and when you reincarnate, you will be so against war that you cannot be put into another uniform. And that is how, how pacifists are created. And we can see, I think, on the planet today that there really is a trend that many more people than maybe only 50 years ago, are much more humanitarian. They are much more willing to help when there are catastrophes around the world. They cannot stand to look at other people suffering. Yeah. And it, it may not look as if they are the majority, and I don't think they are yet, but one day these loving people, the, the compassionate, um, the ones that realize that we are all one, they will reach critical mass one day. I don't. I know that today it's still the greedy and the warlike and right. uh, that that are in power. But it won't go on like this because every day people are dying and suffering. But when they reincarnate, they will have become much more compassionate, much more humanitarian, much more all, all loving. And that is the way it's going for all of us. But of course, nobody can understand his or her fate seen in a one life perspective. Absolutely. We need, yeah, we need the a larger perspective comprising infinite numbers of lives to understand the fate of anybody. Well, I remember when I was in the Vietnam War, and so there was a lot of pacifists around that era, around those many years of that war that, you know, people running away, people going to Canada, whatever, just... Yeah. Yeah. Millions and millions of pacifists. Yes. And then later in 9-11, in, um, in all of a sudden the world unites. The United States unites. Everybody is in, has this common goal, this common purpose, which yeah. didn't last very long, but it gave you a, no. it gave you a touch yeah. of what you're talking about. Exactly. And that's a very good point. So, I mean, no, there's no need to despair. I know that we, we despair when we think we only live this one life and we... We see that so many people are living in 
in misery and suffering. Mm -hmm. But it's it's all just, and I know or maybe I shouldn't say just because, of course, it's not very f nice to be in suffering, but it really is a step on the way. It's like and you it's like life is a, it's a whole song and one life is only one note right. and you cannot understand or, or hear the melody as long as you only hear one note and um so we really are on our way towards a peaceful harmonious world so i let me ask you i'm um i'm very much uh, an optimist i believe everything in life is an opportunity oh right yes i didn't feel that way for many many years but i have in the last few years and part of that <laughs> is because of my faith and my belief in jesus christ and yes. so um you were an atheist i don't know if you still are but how no. does how does my faith or my christianity play into what you're talking about, if at all? Oh, it's a very good question. Oh, it absolutely plays in with uh, Martinez's work is actually a continuation of the work of Jesus. Because uh, Jesus said when to his disciples 2,000 years ago, I have many more things to tell you, but you cannot understand them now or you cannot bear them now. Correct. But, but when the spirit of truth that, that the Father will send in my name, he will lead you into the whole truth. And uh, actually, the Moica Martinez is also called the Third Testament. And it is a, a, a fulfillment of this promise that Jesus made 2,000 years ago. Wow. But, but it is not a new religion. It is not supposed to be a new religion because when 2,000 years ago, people were much more able to believe. But today, many people, they just cannot believe because their intelligence sort of stands in the way for their ability to believe. So today we need logical answers. We need a spirituality that appeals to our intellect because we are so we have become so much more intellectual than we were 2000 years ago. Sure. So the 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 third testament had to be something not an object of faith, but an object that would appeal to our intellect and something that we could study. And I mean Many people will maybe say, hey, wh wh what are you talking about? And, and how can you say that this is a continuation of the, of the vision of Christ? But those who have read the work of Martinus are absolutely not in doubt. Martinus explains so many of the things that Jesus said that could not really be understood in the context when they were spoken. Because the people that lived 2,000 years ago were not intellectual they they couldn't understand it they could only understand it with their feelings if you know what i mean they had to. absolutely yeah they, they had to have faith because they didn't exactly. have anything else and yeah. um and uh, i mean if you when when you have read the, the the martinez material you are not in doubt that this is the the final <laughs> the final download from the divine uh, plane of existence to wow. us here on the planet because there is nothing that isn't explained in it. And I mean, my seven books, they are only scratching the surface. And now, of course, all, all my books are only invitations to start reading Martinez's own uh, work. But of course, it's huge. It's more than 10,000 pages. My gosh. And it hasn't been, it is, a lot of it has been translated into English and Spanish and German and French and Swedish and what what not but none of it has been has been translated in its totality because it is such a huge job you can imagine I can't even so, imagine absolutely yeah. so so it's only 30 38 years ago 37 years ago that Martinez died so we are still it's still very early days it's early days. so when did the when did the 500 years start and when will it end Sorry, I did not. Uh, I didn't the, understand the, your question. The, the five hundred years that you mentioned earlier. When did yes. when did that start, or or has it, and when will it end? <laughs> I think it probably started um, fifty years ago because um, that's when probably, he was alive, right? Yeah, but this is this yeah. is probably Martinez has probably expressed this uh, fifty years ago. So, but we we are definitely on our way, right? And although things may look very bleak at the moment, of course, there's, uh, there's armament and there's wars in, in so many places. 
But Matthäus, he also says that <laughs> the biggest challenge facing humankind today is to become knowledgeable about the law of karma. And I'm mentioning this in connection um, with, with the 500 years, because when you realize the law of karma is very simple, it simply states you reap as you sow. Yes. And that means that when you when you lie, you will be lied to. When you steal, you will be stolen from. When you cheat, you will be cheated. When you kill, you will be killed. And I mean, when if only people would realize that one, they don't only live once, and two, that whatever they sow, they will have to reap either in this life or in a form in a future life. Then I think that running around being a terrorist will sort of lose its appeal, is what I think. Because when you realize that you will reap what you sow, and when you sow really bad things, you will have to reap those things, Not if not in this life, then in a future life. Well, at some point, you'd like to think that uh, in intellectualism, if you will, would, would overcome hatred at some level. Yes, <laughs> that is what, what, what Jesus, what does Jesus say? Right. He says, that when somebody hits you on the on the right th chin, then give him the other or uh, offer That's him right. the other chin. That's right. Yeah. So let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. Do you feel? Uh, do you have a sense um, that you and, and Martinez are related in some fashion? That Martinez is what? That you and Martinez are related in some fashion? No, not related. I I I don't know. I think that that we are we are many that have been attracted to his material mm -hmm. because we are on wavelength with it. And obviously, Martinus uses those of us who are on wavelength with it to try to spread the word about it on, on this planet. And I think that I have been so fortunate to be one of those because it seems that that is what what I <laughs> I am doing and, and I really love doing it. And that was your that was your quest for many many years, and you just didn't know it until you found that book, right? Exactly, that was exactly what it was. And uh, because I had no attraction, felt no attraction to religion, right. I was such an unwritten uh, piece of paper when I'm I encountered the material, material, and I sucked it to me like a, a, a sponge, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So there was no, there was no. Uh, there was nothing that I had to unlearn first, you see. And there was no so turning the, back either. Yeah, so it was, <laughs> it was easy. We're about out of time, and I want to encourage people to reach out to you to buy your, uh, check out your books. I know you've got some great reviews on uh, on Amazon about your book, mm -hmm. a, a must read for all students, uh, all kinds of different reviews. And if people will check that out, it's called, again, the name of your book is Death is an Illusion, right? Yes, and also on my website, newspiritualscience.com, you can see all my books, and I have a blog where I write or I upload a new blog each month, and you can get a lot of free material on my website as well, and you can subscribe to my newsletter. So I would be very pleased if, if you would, would do that and... and um, yeah, subscribe to. I'm fascinated. Newspiritualscience.com? Exactly. Okay. Yes. Okay. Newspiritualscience.com. And folks, check it out. I mean, what a what a fascinating conversation we've had. I've, I've had goosebumps two or three times. So <laughs> I uh, I can't thank you enough for taking the time uh, in, in visiting with us today from Spain. You are most welcome. It was definitely a pleasure. Your 20-minute podcast with David Brower has been brought to you by Audible. You can listen to any of David's podcasts anywhere podcasts can be found, including iHeartRadio, the Spotify mobile app, and at davidbrowervo.com slash your 20-minute podcast. Until next time, thanks for listening.